Hi, Caleb from Brownells here. Back again with Andrew from Surefire. Andrew, thanks for coming out. Appreciate having me. And uh, we're out here at Brownells Big Springs Range in the dark and uh, in a little bit of rain because we are talking about some Surefire bean patterns. That's right. Uh, so we have three different beam patterns that we kind of categorize our lights under. We have our Max Vision, our Hybrid, and our Turbo Series beams. Um, Max Vision is going to be your widest, kind of really good for you know anything super close in. It's going to give you an extremely wide field of view, but not a whole lot of distance. Uh, hybrid, it's a pretty self-explanatory beam pattern. It has sure. a, a hybrid where there's a nice hot spot, but still a good amount of surrounding spill. And then our turbo series are focused fully on candela, uh, meaning it's a tight, narrow beam pattern intended to reach as far as possible. Uh, I mentioned candela just real quick. I think most people are familiar with lumens these days. There's two measurements with light. There's lumens and candela. Lumens is um, overall brightness essentially, but it's not a measurement that's gonna tell you how far a beam pattern's gonna go. Right. You can have two lights with the same exact lumen output, but totally different beam pattern performance as far as distance goes. Candela is the measurement, it's peak beam intensity. It's it, the measurement that's gonna tell you uh, basically how far a beam is gonna go. So we can kind of demonstrate that here with some of the handhelds we've got. So in, in the first light I'm gonna show you is our stiletto, our PLRA. This is 650 lumens and about 1500 candela. Okay. So we consider this a max vision beam. You can see when I turn it on, you know, these targets wide left and wide right, they're both in full view without even me uh, rotating the light. I'm shining it kind of at the furthest middle target. So uh, again, 650 lumens, 1500 candela. The next light, is our um, Stiletto Pro 2. So this is 1500 lumens, 35,000 candela, decent amount of candela. Uh, again, you can see this is the hybrid beam. We have a good amount of distance in the middle, but still a good amount of flood surrounding. And then last up, uh, you have our EDC One Turbo Series handheld light. That's 650 lumens, but 95,000 candela. So you can see, you can see how tight that beam, how, how much light you're throwing down range at that target, that's gonna give you the maximum distance. So there's no right or wrong when it comes to beam patterns, it's user's preference. We have multiple options depending on the task at hand. It's kind of like a tool, the right tool for the right job. Uh, high candela lights have become super popular in the tactical world these days, especially in the law enforcement community. Yep. Uh, helps with seeing through tinted windows, Sectors in depth, which means basically if you're looking from one room through a hallway into another room, that narrow beam is not going to bounce as much off of the, the walls and thresholds. It's going to put a lot more light um, down through that sector that you're trying to see into, uh, especially maybe if you're in a daytime situation but looking into a dark structure, that narrow beam pattern does a really good job of penetrating and pushing through um, to see into that darkness. So Yeah, awesome. And so obviously we were demonstrating handheld lights, but all of that applies for all the weapon lights as well. Um, and then we'll also get into demonstrating some of those weapon lights. We have a couple here uh, on the table. Uh, and so we have the turbo, and then what is the other one we have here? It's a 640 Ultra. It's okay. a hybrid beam pattern light. So. Okay, perfect. Yep, so it's very kind of apples to apples. We have the, the 640 Turbo Series um, outputs on both of these lights. So for the turbo, it's 650 lumens and 100,000 candela. Whereas on the Scout light, it's actually more lumens. It's a thousand lumens, but it's only about 12,000 candela. So drastic difference there. Again, no right or wrong. It just depends on what you're doing and we'll show you what that looks like. Yeah, absolutely. And just to be completely clear, one's not better than the other, except for certain scenarios. So that's, that's all there is to it. It all depends on what you're gonna be using it for. Yep. Uh, but yeah, let's get into demonstrating some of these other ones a little bit more. Yeah, let's shoot some guns. All right. All right, so up first we have our 640 Ultra. Again, this is the 1,000 lumens and about uh, 12,000 candela. So we'll take a look. Close targets. And we can still see the far target, but just not super illuminated. But as you can see, it has a good amount of spill on both. So I'll take a couple shots at the close target. Real easy. And then the far target. And we'll compare that with, Caleb's got the 640 Turbo Series light. Mm. 
And you can see with that uh, turbo series light, a whole lot of illumination on that far target. It's about out 100 yards. Um, but when he was going back and forth between those close targets, you didn't have the next target illuminated. You, you, right. you saw definitively the one target you were looking at, but you couldn't see the second target you were about to transition to. Right. Whereas with the Ultra, I kind of had the benefit of in my periphery immediately before I transitioned, knowing where that target was, if that makes sense. That's Absolutely. a pretty big advantage for close stuff, but definitely I could barely see what I was shooting at at the far target. Yeah, I could, target. My, that far target for me, that one's at 100 and it was, it, I mean, it was super easy. Yeah. It was like daytime shooting it. Yep. So again, there's, there's no right or wrong. It depends on what your intended application is. If you have a big piece of property, obviously I think you'd benefit from the turbo series. If you're only gonna be, if you're only gonna be using them, you know, for, for close in home defense situations, the, the Ultra might be a good way uh, to go just because you have a little bit more periphery and a little bit more situational awareness. So I don't know what your thoughts uh, yeah, the preference I, are. I, exactly the same. I mean, if I was gonna be using it in like a home situation, um, home defense type setup, I would probably, you know, the way my house is set up, I would go for the hybrid for sure. Yeah. And, um, you know, any, any like maybe maybe like a truck gun or something like that, I may go for the the turbo. Yep. It. Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to play with them more too, yep. honestly. But that's that's where my head's at after you know, just doing this a little bit and from what uh, limited experience I already do have with them. So. Yeah. I, I agree completely. I mean, it's just like a rifle. You know, you have short guns, you have SPRs. There's guns set up for different applications. Um, for, for generally for me, for a do-it-all gun, I think I'd probably go hybrid, but the turbo's a really good option depending on you know, the terrain that you're in and, and where you live, so. Yeah, but uh, I, at least I'm gonna buy them both. So <laughs> That's hey, the best option is, is you need all of them. <laughs> that's all, that's all exactly the right. You can never have too many flashlights, but. Yeah, so there you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you'd like to add, feel free to post it down below. As always, if you need help with anything for any reason ever, Feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Also, you can call Surefire with any questions as well. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.